Hi, I'm Jonathan Lipnick, a professor at the Israel Institute of Biblical Studies. And today, we're going to say a few words about the authentic meaning of the word hallelujah. You know, the book of Psalms, a book entirely devoted to praise, comes to a very dramatic climax in Psalm 150 with the following words, Let every living breath praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. What does that final word hallelujah actually mean? Is it English? Well, actually it's not. It's Hebrew. But unlike the majority of the Bible, it was not translated into English. It was simply left in the original Hebrew. So let's unpack that word. It's comprised of two components, hallelu, which means let us praise, and ya, which is one of the Hebrew names of God. So together, hallelujah means let us praise the Lord. Why was this word left in Hebrew and not translated? Well, it was probably considered too sacred, too authentic to be violated in a way that would depart from the original. But that, the same cannot be said for the majority of the Bible, which was translated. If you want to learn Biblical Hebrew so that you can read the Bible in the authentic original Hebrew, fill out the form below and one of our academic advisors will contact you shortly.